Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. A local World War II veteran says he's been without the medication his doctor prescribed since August. And he blames the VA hospital for the delay. His family says his health is diminishing every day, so they turn to problem solver Susan Hogan for help. To say this family's frustration has reached a boiling point is an understatement. They're upset over the fact that while his doctor said he needs this particular medication, the VA said another thing. 83-year-old Ed Latticer from Warwick is a World War II veteran, served his country honorably. Today, he's fighting another battle. This time, it's with the Veterans Administration Hospital. Does this work as well as this? No. Have you tried this? Oh, yeah. I've been Ed on says his pulmonologist, who's an outside provider, not a VA physician, recommended he take Spiriva for his breathing issues. But the cost of this drug? Cost me on a private industry $275. Wow. Now, if you were to get it through the VA, what's the difference? $9. So naturally, Ed wanted to get Spiriva through the VA, but for this particular drug, the VA required approval from a VA physician that this drug was medically appropriate for this patient. But Ed says he's been waiting since August for an answer from the VA. In the meantime, they did prescribe him an alternative drug, but Ed says it's not working. You can see the way I'm breathing now. I said, you know, this is just unacceptable. Call 12 for Action contacted the VA hospital. Because of privacy laws, they couldn't give us specifics about Ed's case. They admit, though, communication between the patient and staff could have been better. And I can say that there is uh, an opportunity for there to be some miscommunication on this process. But the VA also stressed that it has a process in place before dispensing certain drugs. As a healthcare organization, we're obligated to respect those guidelines. I mean, it's not always the popular decision, and some people don't understand that. It's not acceptable. It just it makes no sense to me that our veterans, the people that make it possible for us to do what we do in America, have to go through these type of situations at 84 years old and not get the medication they needed. Now, Ed's father did receive Spiriva from the VA hospital last week. The VA tells us whenever they work with patients who are being seen by more than one outside provider, issues like this do come up frequently. That's why the VA says it's working on improving communications with all parties involved to provide the best care to all of its veterans. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, Contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. If you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.